네, 이따가 나왔죠. 자오. 봐봐. 아, like a glorified haven in my life where the first time I felt like I had a connection I had bond and union in seventh grade I went to that to the decay to move in seventh grade I had music I had the Gesamtschule I had the choir I had my cousins who lived around which I didn't so often but they were right there mother never gave me a ride weird I wasn't really part of their life so that was also very beautiful and she went to see him before he came somewhere here so she was already with him but she would go on the weekends and visit him and he was having a construction zone there everything was dusty and i didn't want it to go now she had told me oh my god no i'm gonna move in with him when you're 18 because i have been taking you out of your environment all the, all your life and not be with you so that would be cruel no i'm not gonna do it but eventually she turned around and said no because of your fault i'm gonna move in with them now and that was cruel and totally idiot like a little child because you could have just said i want to be with my boyfriend and move in with him nothing wrong with that I remember I had a crisis when 10 because she told me that she would only live so many years in her life again and again for years she told me and I was ill and I had fever or something in bed and she wasn't home and she didn't came and I was totally afraid I thought now she died and then she came and maybe she maybe it was true and then in a higher perspective because when I was 11 I stopped her beating I only had the stature of my heights right now when I was 12, I know, maybe 11 too. So one day, as she was beating me, I'd actually turned around and I told her, I'd grabbed her arms and I said, stop. And then she said, how dare you? <laughs> yeah, well, I didn't say anything, but she stopped beating me. That was a huge crisis. So languages, in first grade, we learn English. And the second language, I think it was seventh grade, but yes. Uh, I picked Russian for whatever reason. And uh, because maybe nobody else did. But when we moved to his place, I boycotted everything about it. I was depressed months before we moved. I was so sad. That was so horrifying. Besides, if this is Hamburg, my entire life had been revolving on one side of Hamburg. And now we moved to the other side, never been. Maybe on higher perspective, I prepared the whole field with my suffering. So in response to my disagreement, in eighth grade, I boycotted myself. Yeah, and started endless discussion with teachers and didn't, didn't study it and didn't present an exam in well and my grades went down, boom. And of course, um, I lost connection with Russian as well. No, don't speak Russian. Yeah, I know a few words, but I don't speak it. So after half a year, my teacher said, you know, Zoga, if you, if you continue like this, you're going to repeat your year, your grade. I think I was like a 32 year old, all developed adult, and I was sitting next to four, four year olds. No more could have been 10 or whatever, at the age of 12, but they're actually like seven year old. So for me, it was like a repeating and being with even smaller kids. It was a bore, it's, I was so lonely. So, no way. So I put my arse to study and caught up, and that's it. 
In the ninth grade, I became president of the school. Yeah, I invented it. It hadn't been done before. Oh, she sent me in eighth grade to Coventry, England, for a uh, study school. That was a good thing. So the next thing, which I think it was 11th grade, it was in high school. I, I put Spanish and that was the optional. That was a new subject. You could do anything on, on no language at all. But I liked it because it's a new subject, so I did that.